coming up in today's video, Casper gets a haircut, goes somewhere new for the very first time, jumps to This Is Me Jump and has a very big role. Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today is a really big day for Casper because he's going back to school. We're going to a charity riding school today that you might have seen in a previous video. It's called Team Touchem. Um, so last summer I went to lots of different charity riding schools um, to raise awareness and try and make equestrianism more accessible. So we're going back there. I'm actually a patron for the charity, um, so that's really good fun. And Casper's going to be going. I'm going to be having a lesson in the school and things. So it's going to be a very big day. Hopefully it's not too exciting for him because I haven't taken Casper out to like a show or like a horse party for a while so there'll probably be lots of new horses and ponies that he'll want to make friends with. Um, the first thing that I need to do is give him a little bit of a bath because he's looking absolutely disgusting. Sorry Casper that was really mean. I know, I know. He's put his ears back at me. He's like girl that is really mean but he's not looking the normal pearly white. Anyway, should we get your head collar? Get you in the wash bay. So one of the things that I'm really looking forward to when going back to Team Touchem is that um, some of you might know that last summer when I got my new horse box, the old one that I sold, I actually donated the money to four different charities and Team Touchem was one of them. So today I'm going to be able to see what they've spent the money on, how they've improved the riding school. Um, so that's very exciting. Um, I think there might be a new jump, which I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing. But first things first. Just giving Casper a bit of a makeover. It might need to be a bit of a quick one. His mane is so long, so I might give that a bit of a neaten up. It's been a little while since I've given Casper full on pamper session, but I feel like he deserves it today. He wants to be looking his best for, you know, all his new friends he's going to be making. Also, his tail is always the worst. It's covered in mud shavings. His tail does get pretty knotty. Hey, Gatsby. Never do a horse's mane before you go out, but today I'm going to give Casper's mane a bit of a trim. He is quite a sensitive horse, so that's why I prefer to just use scissors because I'm a show jumper. It doesn't matter. He, he has more of a show jumper haircut anyway, um, but also because, yeah, I just don't like to pull the mane. I prefer to cut it. I know a lot of people in the horse world are like, no, don't use scissors on their mane, but I'm really just going to trim a little bit off. That's why I haven't washed his mane yet because I'd rather do it while it's still dry because that's what it's kind of kind of dry to. I'm just going to do a tiny bit because you can cut bits off but you can't glue it back on again. So trust the process guys. I've always done my horse's mane with scissors. I don't want it to look like he's got a bowl cut. That is not what we're going for. I can't lie, it does look like we're cooking Casper at the moment with all this steam coming off him. And I'll just do some upwards cuts to just thin it out a bit. And then what I'll do is I'll just grab my rake and flip his mane over. You've always got to remember to flip their mane over if you do use a rake on their mane to thin it out. Because if not, you get all the short bits on this side rather than the underside and it looks a bit funny. I do, you can see all the dirt underneath on this side. You can also see where I clipped him, where I did a bit of a dodgy line, but you normally can't tell because it's got his mane there. And there we have it, Caspi's mane is looking a lot more smart. I'm just deciding if I'm going to bath his mane or not. don't want him to get too wet because it's not his favourite thing in the world, but he, does, he enjoys a bath. But I think it's just when his mane's wet because it kind of drips down. Like because I've, you know, washed his neck, that dries off so quickly because he's clipped. Alrighty, Casper is now all nice and clean and looking very smart. Um, so the next thing we need to do is load him up and get going. See all your new friends. You look very tired, Casper. He doesn't. He doesn't look quite awake yet this morning. Hey, I'm sure he's going to be full of energy as soon as we get there. He's all so excited. Come in, up, up. Good boy. 
Oh, now he's just looking forward. He's like, oh, we're going out. Up, up. Good boy. All right, everybody, we are now in the horse box and we're nearly there, actually. Casper has been a very good boy on our journey. He is just honestly the most chilled out horse. Like, he always loads first time. He's just a really good, like, traveler. Um, I've had a bit of a snack as well. So yeah, it's not long until we're there and I think he's gonna be very excited when he arrives, especially as it's somewhere new. And he just hasn't seen, like, loads of horses like that in a long while, so we might have quite a spicy Casper on our hands. And it's safe to say when we did arrive, there was a lot for Casper to take in. Good boy. Stand. Go have a little look. Look at where you are. He's like, oh my goodness, other oh, horsies. All right, should we take you to the barn? Uh, I think so. Excuse me, guys. Good boy. He's even got his name on the door. Look at that. <laughs> oh no, please don't roll. I've bathed you. Once Casper had settled into his stable, we then said hello to all the kids at the stables and I was really impressed with how well behaved Casper was. He's normally quite a shy horse and quite sensitive, but he was so good and so friendly and loved all of the attention. After that, it was then time to grab my tack and get Casper ready for our lesson. Now, I wasn't too sure what Casper was going to be like because it's been years since he's last been in an arena with lots of other horses was probably back when I used to do pony club with him and I do know that he can be quite nervous and a little bit more spooky in new places and obviously he's never been here before but he was really well behaved to warm up and then it was time to start jumping. I wanted to include this clip to show that with horses not everything goes perfect so um, yeah the first jump don't know what it was Casper obviously had a little funny five minutes it was a very very scary jump by the looks of things but then after that Casper flew over over all of the other fences and was having an absolute blast. Our instructor also ran around the course, which was really funny, but she was also explaining what we should be doing around all of the corners when we should be looking at the next fence. When it was our turn to do the course, Casper was having so much fun zooming around all the corners. Here, I tried to get him back a little bit more and balance him ready to go over the This Is Me fence, which he flew over. It was also really good fun to have a lesson with lots of different people cheer them on as they went round the course and also really interesting to see how all of the different ponies were ridden differently because at the end of the day not all horses are the same and then lastly we took some photos of us going over the this is me fence and it's safe to say the old man Caspi still has it after our lesson Casper and I were very kindly invited on a hack around the property and the local area to have a little bit of an explore it's also really nice to see that this riding school not only teaches the kids how to care for the horses and how to ride a horse in an arena but also offers being able to go out for a hack and be in the countryside and be in the fresh air too. After our ride I feel like Casper definitely could have gone round another two times. He was absolutely buzzing and had so much fun. After unpacking him oh, and putting no. him back in his stable <laughs> of course Casper went and rolled. It's safe to say that um, he definitely made him Himself at home while he was at Team Touchem. Lots of rolls, lots of squealing, lots of digging. Um, I feel felt a little bit embarrassed because he did make an absolute mess and trashed his stable that was beautifully swept and clean when we first arrived. But there we go. What can you do? Horses are horses. It was then really nice to be able to see some of the other lessons and see kids using the poles from all ages and abilities. Coming back to Team Touchem reminded me of what a lovely community of people are there. It honestly does feel like a family and it's so nice that kids from all different backgrounds are able to come here and access equestrianism. It was also so lovely to see that some of the money that I donated was put towards this defibrillator which can be used by anybody in the local area. Hopefully it never has to be used but one day it could potentially save someone's life. So we're somehow going to organise. I think we're going to get Casper behind the This As We Jump and get everyone standing in front and try and get a photo of nobody blinking with Casper's ears forward so it might be a little bit tricky to organise but I think we can get it. Hey Caspi, he's just mesmerised, he's having a great time, he's had so much fun today, haven't you? Yeah? 
so much to look at. While we were waiting for everybody to arrive and come down to the arena for the big group photo, Casper got in some last minute cuddles and attention, which he absolutely loved. After that, we were sad to say goodbye to Team Touchem as we had such a brilliant day there, but I'm sure we'll be back soon. I'll leave some links to some charity riding schools in the description below if you want to check them out. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I hope you all enjoyed it. Bye! Bye!